Today we're working on this. Now, I've been puffing around with this. Uh, I've decided to change the ESC and look where we go here. Look where we go. Uh, oh yeah, baby. That's a good ESC. I'm looking forward to get that working. But there's one thing that is really driving me up the fucking walls. Sorry for the swearing. But is this stupid linkage here. Right, this pan hard bar, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, it's getting on my tits. Now, the thing is, this is basically putting the gem geometry of this truck well off. And you guys can see what I mean. You can tell already, see? You think that would just be just the angle of the camera, but it's not. And when I push them down, it, put, it goes back where it should be. And the other thing is, that thing, that bar, is I think it's causing the, the, um, the shocks to kind of bind as well, because sometimes they're just stiff as hell, man. It's just, sometimes it feels like they go uh, a hair lock, where they, you push them down, they just don't come up. But then if you work them a little bit, they just become nice and loose. It don't, it don't bind. And I think that is because of this stupid fucking bar. I'm really getting annoyed with this bar. It is really driving me nuts. This is a good truck. This is an excellent truck. But this bar here is just making it horrible. And the other thing is, why the hell would you put the fucking servo up there? Because what happens is, this type of setup is just making this, um, uh, what you call a bump steer. So basically what it is, is it's actually lifting the fucking axle instead of turning the wheels. Uh, because it's that way, it's just so high up there. So, now, the... This Panhard drive thing, keep forgetting the name of it. Um, I was not, uh, I didn't know much about them. I've seen them in real cars and I've always seen them, when I see them, it's actually in road cars or in Formula um, off-road cars. Uh, I might have seen them on, on 4x4s, but I'm not quite sure if I have. The thing is, this just puts geometry all off. And the best way to explain to you is, is I'm going to show you a video, which I had to look for and to try understand how a pan hard uh, bar works. And so I actually take you here to my laptop. I found the video. Just there. I'll, uh, if you guys want to check how to set up your penhard bar, just go check, check, check them out. Uh, I thought this was quite um, uh, edu ed educational. So this is my problem. See what's happening here? That is what they call sagita, which is basically the 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 freaking travel of the um, of the of the axle going side to side so that is the problem so what they done is when they set this up they must have put it all the way down here and then they said oh, that's the length of the bar but they never thought what would happen when this goes all the way up it's going to push the the um, the axle that way or the, the 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 whole chassis that way so i have no idea well i have an idea how to fix it 
But for that, uh, by watching that video, basically those two links, that link, well, this part needs to be uh, level. Um, so this can actually work. It will still have this uh, uh, sideway travel, but only when it gets to halfway of the travel. And when and most of the times on the crawler, you're not going to be halfway. You're going to be other, either all the way up or all, either um, all the way down. So yeah, it's kind of bothering me. I'm not sure how to fix it. And the problem is, even if I was to fix that, I'll still have this problem with the bumps there. But I can possibly live with that. I had that issue with the sawback uh, originally. Uh, I thought I'll get the upgrade and I'll put the servo up there. And I've noticed the kit every time I turn left or right, I can remember. But it would actually lift the axle or just push the, the, the chassis down, which I thought was quite annoying. So that said, I need to figure out a way uh, bringing that link that link down and that one up so that can be leveled and it will only have a bump steer uh, um, an axle um, movement when the the link is uh, after travel so i need to figure out how to do it and that is going to be a tricky. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, please do do give us a hands up. I've noticed there's not a lot I can work on in here. So any suggestions, please, guys, be more than welcome. Uh, and that said, well, I think it's time to put that new ESE on and uh, moving on and just get it ready for the... Uh, for a test drive uh, you notice i've changed the the wheels i've actually put my uh, wheels that were in my ford raptor in here so those are kind of better grippy the other ones are okay which is this ones but it just has to it doesn't have enough grooves i think for off-roading and they don't grip very well, too well on off-road this one's got a nice gaps nice Super Swampers, uh, they are the T TSL SX, which are the extra large ones, something like that. So, well, let's move on and get the camera on. The camera, the ESE on. Right. So, let's see how that ESE looks. Hopefully, with this ESC, uh, will give me a bit of a smile and forget about that stupid fan hard drive. Fan hard drive? I right, see, I, that bar is just getting on my tits. I can't even pronounce it. Stupid fucking thing. Uh, so, uh, basically, I'm going to put it there. I need to get some double side tape. I should have thought I should have thought about that before and get yeah. now I don't know if I want to just well this solder this straight to the motor or just get some plugs and just use it to the, oh, someone at the door I'm going to interrupt it there now. Let's go back to what we were doing. So, the ESC double side tape, which I still forgot to go get it. Uh, and I think, I don't know, can, will they reach actually? That's the thing. Nah. 
that's the other problem I had. It was trying to figure out how to get all of this cable in here um, without affecting the way the body shell goes on because after all of this is here, uh, trying to put that body shell back on is quite is quite tricky uh, because it's a tight shell. Everything is tight together. So yeah, right. So double side tape. Again, ah, we got a double side tape. You guys saying, "Oh, why don't you use this, this double side tape instead of the box?" I know there is, but I prefer my double side tape. I know this will stay and will only come off when I want to come off. When I want it to come off. Now, um, there's one little job that I'm gonna have to do I'm not keen on doing this kind of stuff but I'm gonna have to do it and is weld my winch control actually I don't know this if this is the best way to put it actually yeah, never mind Just leave it that way is my winch control I need to connect it I need to wire, um, weld this wires to the to this, and I think I may have put the you see the wrong way, not to this but to this. Sorry, and uh, maybe I'll do a little cut somewhere. But the thing is, I've got so much cable going on here I need to figure out the best way of putting all of this cables in place without getting all the uh, 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 without causing the shell not to fit <laughs> basically so I went ahead and I uh, put a ESC off camera and put everything together because it's a, a lot of time consuming. I've been doing this for the nearly, I have no idea, I've lost track of time to be honest. It's already dark, let's put it that way. Um, and because um, because of the, the way that this is built, uh, you, you are, um, sorry. The way this kit is, there is there isn't a lot of space in there for you to be adding a lot of uh, electrics to it. So this is called a uh, light unit. You can actually see it's just a box just there. You see the flag thingy? That's the box. The uh, the light support. And basically the the ESC go runs the ESC and the servo connects to the um, light board and from the light board light board goes to the um, receiver and so it means there's a lot of cable going on in there which you guys are gonna see in a second uh, but yeah that that's the cable link done I've tested it it works fine I, I, I've, had, I've just had a little bit of a test that was it but open it up as you can see it's a lot of cables and there's not a lot of space on this for all of this so there's the ESC focus stupid camera there it goes um, my winch control is attached to the power to the, the battery that comes from the battery to the ESC so it's working fine everything seems to be working fine I might have to adjust some settings on the ESC itself because I, I noticed it was kind of when my finger was not just barely touching the reverse it was trying to go reverse and I don't want that I want to, yeah you know what I mean um, so apart from that and honestly I hate all of, all of this cabling to be honest but I want lights on my car, uh, but I think, I don't know if I want to go to the hassle of changing all of the, the, the lights units on this or just leave it the way it is. 
Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and see you next time. And yeah, give me some tips and ideas how to get this freaking thing sorted. This is really getting on my tits, man. Honestly, honestly, when I'm this annoyed, something. Uh, if my wife is around, I, it's just time to beat her up. But this time, she's not around, so. I'm just having a, a, I grabbed the camera and having a bit of a hard time uh, with you guys. So yeah, as you can tell, it's just stupid. Why? Really? This is... Uh, right guys, yeah, see you. Take care.